What's up, Metalheads? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. All right, today we're going to touch on the EDC side of things, and uh, I'm going to give a full review of the Rovivon A2 flashlight. Uh, this flashlight was sent to me by Rovivon. I did not purchase it, but I am not affiliated with them in any way. I'm going to give you my honest review, and I'll just go ahead and tell you right off the bat, this little thing's amazing. This is an amazing little flashlight. Uh, it comes in this box right here that you see. It comes with a pocket clip, but it also comes with, uh, so you can put it on a keychain. comes with a keychain uh, ring here that you can put on the end of it right there if you want to carry it on a keychain. I don't like to carry a flashlight on a keychain because the lens ends up getting scratched up and if it's with my keys or something like that. So I prefer not to carry it on a keychain. Um, and this is a magnet, or actually this is a uh, cover. It is USB-C uh, charging and it comes with an additional uh, cover there in case you were to lose it, you have an, a spare. And it also comes with this. The pocket clip has a magnet on it. So it is magnetic. But let's say you want to carry it on a keychain, right? So it's magnetic. If you want to carry it on a keychain and not use uh, a pocket clip, it comes with this little thing. And this little thing will clip on right here, just like the keychain does. If you hit the right spot, where's the right spot? Maybe it's the other side. Where does this thing go? Oh, there's, that's where it goes. Okay, my bad. It's a magnetic tail switch. Or, so it'll clip on right there. And uh, that magnet is not nearly as strong. It will work fine for being upside down like that, I think. It's okay. It's not the strongest magnet. The one on the pocket clip, though, is much stronger. Um, and... I wear a hat uh, mostly at work, and I, I do carpentry work. And sometimes the houses don't have power, and lighting is not that great. So I like to put a flashlight on the bill of my hat. And uh, this thing's fantastic for that. You know, I would normally use something like uh, the Lumen Top Tool, which is one of my favorites. Very lightweight, uh, pretty powerful. Or the Raylight Pineapple. Yeah, but actually that one doesn't want to build my hat. It won't face the right direction. But the uh, I5R or the I3, uh, I3T, I believe is by Olight, I will wear in the bill of my hat. Um, this is a keychain light from Olight. This is the I1R, just to give you a size comparison there. Um, I'll give you a knife size, size comparison also in case you don't, you don't have many flashlights and you don't know what to compare it to. But this thing, being smaller like this, is just fantastic to go in the bill of a hat. You slip this thing on there, and you're good to go. And uh, fits on there very well. The clip works extremely well. The flashlight doesn't move at all. Um, I'm going to give you the specs on it real quick. So you have four modes with this flashlight. Uh, you have, uh, well, first off, you double-click to turn it on, and it's in, it will remember what you left it on the last time. And then you just hit the button once. To, that's moonlight mode. And moonlight mode uh, is 25 lumens. Or, or excuse me, a half a lumen, and it will let run for 56 hours. Click it one time, it goes up to low. Low is 25 lumens, and it will run for six hours. One more time goes to medium. Medium is 200 lumens, and it will run for an hour and a, hour and a half. And when you go up to high, uh, that's 650 lumens, and it will run for right around an hour. And this thing, as small as this little thing is, man, this thing will light up the outdoors. When you put this thing on high, you get a lot of power. I'm back on uh, uh, moonlight there. Let me, I'm going to try something. This may blind you guys. I'll apologize in advance if it does. And to turn it off, by the way, you just hold the button down for half a second and it turns off. So I'm going to turn it on, double click. There's moonlight mode. For little things, it works fine. If Especially if it's really dark outside, moonlight will, you know, let you see what you need to see up close. Go to low. And much better. That's where I normally use it at, just to preserve battery life. Um, if I haven't really had a situation where I needed medium or high. There's medium. Medium's pretty bright. And then high is crazy bright. 650 lumens out of this little flashlight, which is impressive. 
Um, this thing is made of stainless steel, so it's not going to rust or corrode. Um, and I love the fact that the clip's magnetic. I've used that many times. I'll clip it to something or stick it on something. Sometimes the saw that I'm using may not have the best light, and I can clip this thing right onto the side of the saw and point it right down to where I'm cutting so I can see my pencil marks. Work extremely well for that, but 99% of the time this thing is on my hat, um, and it works great. The pocket clip works great. It also works great in your pocket. It's a very, very good clip, and this piece you see right here is actually the magnet built into the clip. Um, I'm sure it would be fine on a keychain also, but I don't carry it that way. I don't use it that way. So, okay, so that's the, uh, this is the Robivon A2. Here is the Olight uh, I, I1R. Here is the uh, Raylight Pineapple, just to give you some size comparisons here. Here is the Lumen Top Tool. So it's a little guy. This is 650 lumens, the tool is, and I love it. This is 650 lumens. <laughs> See the size difference. Of course, it won't last as long. The battery won't, but. And there's the i5R. So it's a little light. Uh, it's a fantastic little light. This thing is great to just carry in your pocket. It goes in your fifth pocket extremely well too, which is where I normally have it if it's in my pocket. That way I don't have to worry about scratching the lens on anything in my pocket. I'll stick this little guy in my fifth pocket and it carries extremely well there. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing little light. Uh, the price on these is like $42. They may be on sale at the time you're seeing this. I don't know. I'll link them on Amazon. I highly recommend this little light. Um, obviously, it costs double what this costs, right? But it has much more battery power than this. Um, it's much more made it much better than this thing is. This thing is made really cheaply, this i5 or i2R. Um, it works fine, but it's made very cheaply. It doesn't have a pocket clip or a clip to clip it onto your hat. Um, it's okay for a keychain, but that's about it. But it, the battery life on this is nothing compared to this. Um, this thing, I'll go through two or three days at work before I need to charge it. And speaking about charging it, when you plug it in to charge it, well, when it gets low, it'll, uh, when you plug it in, it'll be red. Uh, and then when it's charging, it'll breathe blue to let you know it's charging. It'll get brighter and lighter, brighter, brighter and dimmer, brighter and dimmer. And then when it's fully charged, it, it turns green to let you know it's fully charged. The button is very good. This thing's waterproof also. Uh, the waterproof rating on it is IP, what was it? I want to say 65, but I may be wrong about that. Um, don't know. It's IPX65 or 68. I can't remember which one it is, but it is waterproof which is nice. Um, if you just need a little flashlight, you just want to have a flashlight on you just as a just in case. You don't use a flashlight daily. Uh, you don't really have a need for one, but say your car breaks down or something's going on and you just need to have a flashlight handy, uh, this is an excellent option. For women out there who want to carry something small in their purse, it'd be a fantastic option to put in your purse. Um, for uh, Even for kids, let's say you got a kid that's in the Boy Scouts or something like that. They just need a little flashlight. This would be a great one, man. Not going to rust. Not going to, uh, don't have to buy batteries for it. It is rechargeable. Um, so, yeah, it's a great light. I highly recommend it. Makes me want to check out some of Ruby Vaughn's other products. They have some much, uh, much more expensive stuff too. Titanium and different, several different options of flashlights. This is pretty much all they make. And if it, the rest of them are like this, you can't go wrong because this thing, this thing is built like a freaking tank. It works extremely well. It'll light up the entire outside with, on high. And uh, yeah, it carries well in the pocket and it's magnetic. I mean, what more can you ask for for a little flashlight? So yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. I'll link it in the uh, description. Again, I'm not affiliated with Robivon. doesn't matter to me if you buy this flashlight or not. But if you need one, you want something little to carry, this thing is amazing. It's an awesome little light. It uh, puts some O-lights to shame. That's how good it is. The, the attention to detail and the way they made this thing, the way it feels in your hand, yeah, this is on another level from most of the O-lights. And I have several O-lights, some of the bigger ones too. Obviously, it's not this powerful, but, you know, it, just the build quality. You can tell when you get it in hand. This thing is built like a freaking tank. 
I have no doubt I could throw this thing as far as I could throw it and go pick it up and it would still work. That's how well it's built. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys on the next one.